In big news to me, but probably not to anyone else out there, my Lego storage conundrum is officially over. As of last night, I converted my tables back exclusively to my old Sterilite drawer system, and I did that for a variety of reasons over storing things in the Rayco drawers, and that is, number one, these drawers are a much better quality, in my opinion. They slide out and slide in much easier and tighter than what the Rayco drawers are. Number two, I can stack these to any height that I want. Want, which is important to me. Number three, I feel like from a builder's perspective versus a BrickLink seller's perspective, I feel like these drawers are much easier to look into and scoot around inside when you're building things, especially with a kid that doesn't want to go through every little drawer of a Rayco cabinet trying to find one exclusive piece. In my mind, I thought that's what I wanted, but in practicality, once you actually get it and try it, I like this system better, and I could have totally determined that if Rayco had sent me just one storage cabinet to try. I would have been like, okay, that was nice, but I like this better. They sent me their entire catalog, their entire warehouse, potentially, and I, uh, I, I, it just wasn't for me. If you're curious what the fate of the Rayco cabinets and toolboxes are, well, right now they're sitting in storage, but maybe not forever, because I have an incredible amount of yard sale Lego to process, probably more than I could ever fit on that table, and I think there's going to be a day where it overflows, and I'm kind of forced into that BrickLink seller life. So what I'm thinking is, for now, get all of my Lego processed out into the Sterilite and get it set up exactly the way that I want for all of our future building and mocks and things like that. But then beyond that, everything else could go into the Sterile or into the, the Rayco and that could go in here in the storage room and maybe I could put them on shelves like this right here once some of the backlog and other things that need sold off are off of it. I'm definitely thinking the shelf life for those is the best thing to do because Rico actually got back to me about stacking and they said about the issue of stacking the cabinets, we do not have a solution ourselves. Uh, we do know this guy is using our cabinets and found a solution. You can find him on Instagram and his solution is using Technic pins to stack them. Lego solved the problem, which I love, but I don't love the fact that these aren't stackable. I mean, that's basically the gist of it. I mean, I could put Technic pins through there and that will make them, I'm assuming, stack on top of each other. But isn't that crazy that that is their solution to j shoved Lego Technic? Like, this isn't Lego that made this. <laughs> it's Rayco. There's definitely a part of me that feels guilty throwing that stuff into storage and not converting my system over to that just for the fact that they spent all that money sending it to me. But I never fully committed to any of that. They asked me if I wanted to try out their drawers and I said yes, thinking that they would send me one to try. And if it didn't work for a Lego, I was just going to use it in the storage room for some other bits and things that I could put into it. But after getting all of those, it's like there's this pressure, not only because I'm, I'm sharing it here and people are going to be like, well, that was so rude, Greg, you're not using their stuff. Well, I got to stay true to myself and I'm going to do what I think is best for our collection. And I think these drawers are that. They're of a nicer quality, in my opinion. They, they just slide in and out much easier. And Clark prefers this and he is... 50% if not more of the, the, the people that get into these drawers. So we're going to do what I think makes sense for now. That's not to say it's not going to change. Like I said, there could be a point in the future where all these drawers are full. As you can see, we still have empties here. But when these all fill up and maybe this wall goes up to the level that I want it to be, maybe then the Rayco comes into play. So I will keep those on hand and we'll see where the Lego collecting journey takes us because it's changed even this amount of time. This wasn't always my system. My system started sorry, with one of these and it was two, then it was three, then it was four. And then eventually I'm like, let's get some drawers. When these get too full, let's do drawers. Then I had those drawers and now I have these drawers and then I have these drawers. But you notice one thing, they're all Sterilite and it's a darn good system. So that's what I'm going to stick with for now until I become a BrickLink seller potentially or whatever comes of this, this is the system I'm sticking with and I just got to do what's what's right for me, even if that means, you know, uh, disrespecting uh, a, a company, at least in my heart, I feel like, or uh, letting people down that wanted to see the conversion into what that was going to be. This is where I'm going to put my, uh, my focus and energy and that's kind of where we pick this up at since we got that all taken care of and if you were wondering, if you weren't wondering, well, you just got the whole backstory. When I was getting into the new shelving, I had all this stuff sitting on the table and I need to process. This is all like my to be done stuff. This is from the Lego Dreams to get sorted. I got dots here. I've got, oh God, is that more dots? 
We've got a bunch of manuals here, but then I've got other Lego that needs processed. And I think I'm gonna do all this, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to start like a live streaming series where I can chat with people while I do it. Cause you might think this is really exciting sorting things out. I think it might be a little boring and it might be kind of fun to have some people to chat with in the community while we do it. So let's, let's do that and see how far we can get today. It's about to get started on the stream and I thought I'd show you some behind the scenes. Got it all set up on my phone. Got a light above that. We got the chat that'll be appearing there and then all of my stuff, which I think I'm just gonna start with all of this stuff that's already sitting in two bowls. And some of these are actually in drawers, which are very sorely needed. <laughs> it's completely empty. But yeah, we'll, we'll work on all this. I got so much to do and I could really make this like a part of my daily routine and I really should because ultimately this is what I want. I want all my stuff nicely sorted out in I come to find out in Sterilite drawers, this is, this is the life that I want to live and it's a good life. So I'm going to get started here. We're doing the live stream right now. Everybody's harassing me, keeping me from doing anything and being productive. But here is, here's all the pieces that I have out and it doesn't look like anything, of course, because it's, it's my brain and my system, but it's working and we're going to get this all sorted out and looking good. But this is like the midpoint. We've got a couple bowls already emptied out. We've got those things and I'm feeling good about this. Just like that. The stream is over and I've got a lot of parts here. You might be thinking that literally nothing happened, but all of this is sorted in a way that works for my brain. And I'll be putting them all into the drawers here. I actually cleared out all of these bowls and things. And oh yeah, look at this progress. This is what we need in our life. We'll just go ahead and put that in there. There's one, but uh, I got all that cleared out and all of this is sorted. Had a great conversation with everybody on the stream. That was a really fun time. That was one of the, the best live stream chats that I've been a part of. And it was just great to see the encouragement of everyone towards uh, not only this, but just doing what I'm doing in general. And I, I appreciate that. How will this video be received, especially when people find out that I'm not using the, the Raycos? I can't say for certain, but this is kind of where I'm at and I try to share everything that I do in the most authentic way and this is this is exactly that. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as we not only talk nothing about storage anymore, <laughs> but work on getting things sorted, put into the collection, organized, sold off, built, all of that fun stuff. Speaking of that, I have one last thing to show you that I showed to the chat, but I wanted to let you know what we're working on. Has anyone ever seen a Minecraft mountain cave before. This is Clark Man's part that he's been working on, although I built some of the bottom of it. And then I'm over here working on this. We do this every morning, we work together. And on this card is the first several days of our process. So it's gonna be really cool to kind of share that and see it go as the days go by. Speaking of bulls, we got a lot of those over here. They're getting all stacked up all over the place. We're just constantly going through. They're all sorted by color because that makes it easier when you're going through this. But there is a lot to be done, as you can probably tell. There is an incredible amount of Minecraft Mountain Cave coming. In fact, if I go to the front of this, don't want to lose Clark's spot, but that's ultimately what it's going to look like right there. And uh, we got a lot to build. So that's to come. You won't see a video on this in a while. I just wanted to let you know like that's happening in the background because you're probably like wondering like, man, you haven't been doing much in Lego lately outside of just like mauling about your drawers. I've been doing that, but we've been working on that. And now we're sorting and streaming and I'm doing everything that I love to do in Lego. And that's the important thing. So on that, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on uh, what little journey this was. The real journey was in the live stream. Tune into that. I'll try to link it. Uh, and there's a pinned comment down below if you want to watch uh, all of those bowls turn into this. But again, it's the conversation and the friends that we made along the way. Speaking of friends, that's what YouTube thinks I'm going to watch next. Jabbo, I'd watch his channel any day. Hope you guys have a glorious rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more Lego sorting.